All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to, welcome back to, I don't even know why I can't, there I can move. Okay, yeah, welcome to Rebuild Resist. So this game is, I did a video on this. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, the entire recording failed. I didn't catch it, and I put it up, and it was, it was bad. And then I did it again with a different video later. <laughs> I have not been having a good day. I really haven't. Okay, so, uh, for those of you that saw that that impressions video, and, or, I guess, listened to it, this is the actual game I was talking about. It's very similar to Kingdom. You move left, you mil move right, you build stuff, and that's the game. It's actually, I mean, it's not, it's not as basic as, like, I'm, I'm making it out to be, but effectively, you gather from these trees, We've either got these, like, kind of normal forests on the left, or the, like, nice green forest on the right. And, uh, in gathering from them, you, you get a bunch of lumber, which is added up in that top left there. And you build up towers, you build up, uh, you build up lumber mills, you build up walls and stuff. Now, let's see. So, we've got this. And we've got, let me guess, nothing over here. Okay. And all the while, uh, at a set interval that slowly increases, um, there are going to be there are going to be ghosts that come out of the portals to either the left or the right, and they will. Um, okay, so we've got a tower here. Okay, they will bust up your structures. That said, uh, towers will actively shoot at them, so it's generally a good idea to get those first. If you can, not all maps have towers. I don't know, this game is short. It was made for Ludum Dare 34. And it was actually made by the people that, uh, Studio Mini Boss, the people that made, um, Towerfall. Yeah. Uh, so I actually, I didn't even realize it, but I, I honestly think that's pretty cool. Um, but it plays very similarly to Kingdom. It's not nearly as deep, though, which is kind of the unfortunate part. Like, I really liked Kingdom because there's a lot of, like, depth and strategy there. It was, it was fun to, it was fun to play. You know, there was, there was stuff that you actually had to, like, worry about and think about. And it, it wasn't, um, I don't know why I'm repairing it beyond that. It's not going to do me any good. It, I don't know, it was just such a unique thing. I really like city builder type games. I'm thinking of, like, um, oh, it's a great example here. I, I'm thinking of, like... Uh, Banished. I'm thinking of, I, I I guess, Banished, Rimworld, that that kind of gameplay. Oh, shoot, this is another lumber mill. What am I doing? I'm going for this campfire. Um, and I, I really have this, like, deep desire for a game that is more or less Banished, but on a 2D plane. And there, as far as I know, that sort of game doesn't exist. Like, I like RTSs, and I like kind of the tower defense-y stuff that this and Kingdom have, but I would much rather have a game where you're, like, almost building against the wild and stuff. You know, you're trying to feed your people, keep them healthy, keep them safe from the cold, stuff like that. And, um... And, you know, I, I have yet to play a game like that, and I really dearly would like to, just because I, I think that sort of thing would be fascinating to play. And just really fun um just because i don't know I, I feel like there's a lot of like interesting stuff that happens in a 3d plane of course but i i think if you actually had like a really really in-depth like 2d plane to work with it would almost be just as good uh it would get uh, what's a good example i guess if you've ever played the game godus uh no not godus um shoot Let's not go to shoot. Gotus was bad. I'm thinking it was, it was like a four-letter word. Uh, I think it was made by the same people that made the um, League of Renowned Explorers. Uh, International Society or something like that. Rise? No, Rise was Roman. I don't. I actually don't remember the name of this. It. Uh, this game. And I really would like to, and now it's now it's gonna bug me. I could try alt tabbing out of the game and see what happens here. I'm just gonna plonk myself between these two towers, and we'll find out. Okay. Um. Okay. Renowned explorers. Reus. R e u s. There we go. 
So, uh, R-E-U-S was like a, a side-scrolling god game, not unlike black and white and whatever. Um, but the entire point was like you were going around customizing the world to fit your purposes. Which I actually thought was like a really clever and interesting system. And I'm just gonna build this up. The ghosts will destroy themselves trying to break buildings. So, it'll cost me some wood, but I don't really care. I got more than enough to finish this fire. Um, but I thought that was like a really interesting game, but I didn't want to be god gaming it. I wanted to be, um, I wanted to be like building up that society manually, you know, choosing what structures, what foods, you know, hunting, all that kind of business. You get out of here, ghost. I wonder if I die while well, that was happening. I don't know. Okay. So this is where I had lost the last time. Okay, lumber mill. Lumber mill, lumber mill. Church. Destroyed forest. This is such an awkward, um... Map, comparatively. I don't know how to do it specifically, or do I? I think I've discovered the secret. Alright, let's build this church up gonna take a little while but we need we need the church to be at maximum okay um but I, I just feel games like games like Rius games like kingdom games like this need to have more of a showing on the market and like I, I hate saying this but like I know if I had more time this actually would be a pretty high contender for like the kind of gameplay that I would actually enjoy um the uh, the, the kind of game that I would enjoy making effectively and I, I think more games need to kind of follow this pattern, go this direction. Because th there's been a lot of, like, RimWorld-esque games lately. And, I mean, they're cool and all. But I, I feel like there's an untapped market in side-scrolling. Which is, I mean, a weird statement to make, on obviously. Okay, let's get this church fixed up. It's our only, um... It's our only lifeline here. There we go. The the lumber mills, I think, are red herring. Uh, let's see, but I gotta get a lot of logs here. What I'm effectively going to do is just man tank while grabbing all of these logs. And then just bum rush the bonfire. And that'll be... That'll be it. Because there's a bunch of lumber mills over on the left and a wall on the right here. But they don't do me any good. Okay, so they have taken down the church. Get this church fixed up all the way. In fact, I'm probably just gonna let the church tank for a second. Okay. Campfire next. Uh, these ghosts are jerks. Okay, hopefully that church will hold. Hopefully I have enough logs to finish this. Uh, this level, this level kind of sucks. I think I got enough. Come on. Yeah, church is still tanking on the left. We got this. Okay. Yeah, this is what uh, this is what I lost to the last time, so I have no idea. Actually, what's past this, which is kind of interesting. Um, personally, I don't actually like this game that much. Last beacon is in Tarthur Swamp. Cursed even before the fall. Okay, so we get destroyed forests. Luckily, if you lose, it just makes you redo the level, which is kind of nice. So I'm just going to take a look at what we've got here. Tower Swamp. Church, Lumber Mill, Swamp, Mystic Forest. Okay. Well, we have a tower, so we can we can work that. I'm a little bit worried about the quantity of ghosts here, though. Okay. I don't know if I can build that up. Okay, Lumber Mill, Church, Swamp, Tower. Okay. I'm also curious on whether or not they're going to attack me from the... Uh, from both sides, they are. Okay, well, let's get this tower maxed out. Let's see how fast the ghosts come. Okay. But I need... Hmm. What I need to do is die. <laughs> okay, there we go. 
Uh, this is kind of an awkward, awkward level. And if you don't time it well, you're pretty much sunk. But I think I can make this work. So let's grab as much money as we, uh, money. As much lumber as we can. We're just gonna run now. I'm trying to determine exactly the optimum strategy for this. Problem is, it involves building up this tower so we don't get attacked on the left at all. There we go. Okay, so we build it up there. Honestly, we probably f build up this church. And we'll figure it out from there. But yeah, I don't like the gameplay on this one too much, just because it's more of a puzzle, and it's pretty, um... It's pretty merciless with the way it works. You know, there's there's no real alternative to how you go through it. It's just a matter of... You build, you, uh... You make do. Okay, uh, let's get this lumber mill up. The problem is the ghosts are pretty common here. But the lumber mill... Oh, shoot. They might be coming with ex uh, upgraded frequency. They are. That sucks. Alright. Well, let's just try and get as much lumber as we freaking can. I can get one more here, and then either we're sunk or something. I don't know. Hopefully that tower will be able to... Nope. Defend me here. Damn. Yeah, so the problem is I need to build up this... I need to build up this fire, but the... The ghosts are... More or less going to make it impossible for me to do so. How the devil are you supposed to finish this one? I don't know. It's not an easy... Uh, game. Because the lumber mill is going to go down soon, and... I mean, there goes... All my jams. Maybe... Maybe what I... Okay, let's try this again. Game over. Okay. Yeah, the, the, the problem is there's there's only one way to beat this. You know, Kingdom, Kingdom was kind of a, a consistent strategy situation. And you had to constantly be thinking about it. But, you know, ultimately it wasn't that complicated of a game. It was just a matter of, like, process and knowing... Knowing, like, when to time things, and building your defenses up right, and balancing the amount of money you have for, the, like, the kingdom kingdom lands space available and whatnot. I don't know, it just felt like a really good, really good setup, and it was really fun. Um. Okay, I can take a couple more ghosts. So I can take this one, and one on the left, I think. If he's coming. Interesting. They're not coming. Alright, now we run. Okay. Oh, there it is. So now I have one health left. Son of a bitch. My timing. Oh, my timing was bad. Okay, so I've got a... I got a plan for, like, two ghosts on the right there. On the left there. Because they don't come immediately, but when they do come, uh, obviously it's a problem. Okay. Um, but, you know, no, nothing changes about this. The timing is is there. Technically, I could actually build, like, a macro script. Like, I could record myself beating this from, like, a step-by-step -step basis. And actually, um, it would actually, uh, like, it would 100% of the time beat the game. As long as nothing got, like, desynced. So as, as long as it was, you know, timed properly, yeah, you could just more or less make a program to beat the game for you. Which feels a little bit cheap, but whatever. Okay, before he hits me, we gotta run. Okay, there will be hopefully only one ghost that we have to deal with on this end. That's okay. We build this tower up. Okay, there we go. Okay. Now we build the campfire. And that should be that should be it, but I do feel like more games like this should exist along the way, uh, in the world. I don't know. That's pretty much my point. Shame I lost the first recording of this, but well, 
What can you do? <laughs> I don't even know. It's fun, though. I, I think it, visually it's nice. The music is repetitive, which is kind of dumb. Damn it! Let me finish my beacon. There we go. I'm gonna face tank this direction. I had one hit point left, and the builder finished the last beacon, and the game just auto quits on me before I can uh, read the thing. Oh well, not the end of the world. So, a uh, couple of things of note, seeing as we're just staring here at a black screen and whatever. Uh, first and foremost, apparently, uh, they're actually working on a full version of this game for um, PC, iOS, and Android. Which is actually really cool. Because um, I'd love to see a full version of this that plays closer to Kingdom, maybe? But I'm not entirely sure. I, I think it would be nice if I had more of a choice of like how I put things down. And so you could technically play the long game instead of having to like rush there. Because on that last level, I used one structure before the beacon, and it was a tower. And my my entire strategy was to just more or less grab as much lumber as I could and then tank with my body until I was done. Which, it doesn't feel good. It, like, it doesn't feel fun that way. It's just like, here's this church thing that will heal you. Here's this tower that will defend you. Here's a wall. Here's all this stuff. But uh, if you try using them, you lose. And it just, I don't know. I, I, pre I prefer, you know, the optimum strategy be... There, I'd, I'd prefer it if there was, like, a multitude of optimum strategies and not just one, I guess. I don't know. Either way, though, uh, I liked it. It was fun. I mean, it's good for, like, a short 15, 16-minute thing. And, you know, the core concept is good. The art was good. And the music was ultimately repetitive. But, I mean, it's a Ludum Dare 34 game. Go figure. It was made in 48 hours. Um, so, if you like this in any way, shape, or form, I'd actually recommend go checking out, uh, going off to check out... Kingdom, it's a Flash game turned PC game, and it's really good. And you do, like, side scrolly stuff, building your kingdom up, defending against waves of monsters. Similar, but deeper. And hopefully at some point this game will get deeper, too. I don't know. Either way, though, like I was saying, if you guys like this in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more Indie Impressions videos, hit subscribe, because, well, I do a lot of those. But with that... Hopefully this recording didn't get messed up somewhere along the way, and I will see you guys next time.